Well, this is a video for a Honda CRV 2 litre executive. Uh, this is a 2006 model, finished in Nighthawk Black. Car I see here is on 73,000 miles. Um, this has just one private owner from you and a full service history with from memory around about nine stamps in the service book. Um, car's in absolutely beautiful condition. Hard to see as wet, so I do apologise for that. Um, but genuinely, it's been kept very, very well indeed. Front tyres on the car, it's actually like new. And the yellow there, it's got a tiniest little bit of curbing on the outside rim. Virtually nothing to speak of. Very crisp down the panels. This is the later version, so it gets the revised interior and trim in the car. Rear tyre again is absolutely superb and the alloy is pretty much unmarked there. The engine running, it's got a fairly cold morning so the tiny bit of condensation as you're going to expect to see. You've got the hard wheel cover which is all good and intact there. Coming to the near side of the car, I'm going to go to the top of the vehicle and go down so I don't get the sun glaring too much. The bonnet is uh, generally in very good condition. On the inside of the car, just get down the flank there so you can see there's no major dents or ripples in the vehicle whatsoever. Obviously black tends to show most of the marks, but it's pretty good this one. Front alloy, very good, just a couple of tiny little marks on there, a bit of curbing. the back wheel again likewise the tires love emission and the alloys pretty much unmarked there. So coming to the boot area of the car um, see the back's in really lovely condition. A few of these can get quite battered about so obviously they're designed for, to be used for family use. And here you've got your tonneau cover which is all intact. Back of the seats are all really good condition and the carpet's absolutely lovely in there. So just lift the carpet up and underneath gives us access to the picnic table and a waterproof area. This can just be lifted out so you've got dog leads or wet boots. Just take it out and give it a clean. Coming to the back of the car here, obviously got the rear door card, it's really in lovely condition. I put the rear seat forward, on this side at least, in its forwardmost position because these seats can be adjusted backwards and forwards on a runner which gives you loads and loads of extra boot space. So if you're not carrying any kids in the back or anyone in the back, so you can put them back in various positions. If I pull the lever underneath here, it just slides back and it then gives you the most leg room you can have, which is colossal in the back of these, absolutely huge. These rear seats, sort of a little tab up here, they can go back at different angles as you can see there, or come up into a much more vertical position to again maximise the boot space in the back there. Real leather work is very, very good indeed. And a real testament to the owner of this vehicle. So coming to the front here, driver's door card. Very, very nice condition. Uh, car's fitted with rubber mats all the way through to protect the carpets underneath. Driver's seat again, very, very good. And the leather's in really lovely condition. There's a little centre table there. So you can drop down flat if so wish or sideways and passenger seats again really really nice and passenger door card again is in really lovely condition executive model so it comes with electric sunroof that tilts and it also slides back as well right inside the car now and the plastic's all in really really lovely condition in here um, in the centre here, we've got controls for the climate control system. So you've just got your temperature blower on that one there, and then just direction of wherever you want the air to go on this one here. So you've got the air conditioning button on and off, and all works perfectly. And up here, we've got a little cool box as well. So if you want to keep um, sandwiches fresh or chocolate from melting, in the summer you can pop it in there. Gear lever surrounds in really nice condition. Handbrakes mounted nice and high and out of the way on these as well. Engine's running on the car as you can see from the rev counter and there's no warning lights on the car showing 73,263 miles currently. 
the only light on there is the fuel light. And then you've got the controls for your electric windows and your sunroof there. So under the bonnet, here we've got access to the engine bay and the engine. Um, brilliant engine, uh, 2 litre twin cam IV tech. Uh, the engines are designed to take absolutely huge mileages, you know, well in excess of 200,000 miles. Um, they don't run a cam belt as they use a cam chain, so there's no schedule change for that whatsoever. So coming inside, here's the logbook or V5 for the car. You can see there, it's just showing one private owner from you and no previous recorded keepers. Um, the car also has a spare key. Um, service history wise, it's been serviced all the way through. Yeah, that'd be good. 7, 15, 24, 32, 40, 56, 59, 64, and 70,000 miles.